My name is Brendan McDonough. I'm a two-time commissioner and a lifetime resident of uh, Butte. Um, I've represented District 8 on the Council of Commissioners for the last two terms. Um, District 8 is kind of the central area of Butte. It starts at uh, George Street and goes up towards Iron Street, so it's a, a large swath of central Butte. Um, kind of the older um, infrastructure and um, area from um, the middle part of town. So I've represented uh, District 8 for two terms. I'm a lifelong resident in Butte Silver Bow, uh, born and raised here. I uh, grew up next to Clarks Park and uh, graduated from Montana Tech. Um, you know, I've got a bachelor's and a master's degree from Tech and um, you know, I've been working in Butte and uh, actively involved in community and civic organizations for a lot longer than eight years, but I was always interested in getting involved in the government side of it and um, decided to run for the council and, and I've enjoyed it greatly. Um, but, you know, I would like to step up and um, add my services to the chief executive's office. I think that we have a, a good foundation here um, of knowledge um, and I'd like to just expand on that and um, serve the community of Beat Silver Bow. Um, you know, I think that the chief executive has a, an opportunity to really lead the community. Um, you know, there's a lot of challenges coming up. Obviously, everyone has a, a plan and a kind of a platform to move from, but, you know, recent events with the pandemic have changed things greatly. Uh, business is changing, our budgets are changing. Um, there's some challenges that we didn't foresee when we started the campaign. You know, we all had uh, ideas of how we might move the, the community forward, and I have a, a firm plan of that, but I also have a very solid grasp of the reality that, you know, with my time on the council, how our budgets are going to be impacted locally at, at Butte Silver Bow, and how that's going to constrain our activity maybe in the, the near term to the, you know, the short term for a year or two, uh, until we see how everyone reacts and, you know, until our funding sources are stabilized. and businesses can uh, move forward from there so well I'm a I collaborate very well with folks that work uh, not only in local business but um, at the county government so um, you know I've had a lot of interactions and we've made a lot of decisions that needed to be made with a great group of people uh, lots of folks involved in government that you know work on the ground every day and then of course private citizens and people out working every day in the private sector that, you know, keep our community moving forward. I like to build on um, the solid foundation that, that we're at now currently. I think that we have a, a, a pretty stable market at the moment. Uh, moving forward, I think that we could greatly add to that. Um, you know, in terms of business development, we have, I have ideas and um, they include uh, reaching out and developing partnerships with people that you know have moved on from here that have become very successful and work in very key positions. I've had conversations with quite a few of them um, in regards to re-engaging them and, and bringing them back to the community to look for whether it's just input or investment. Um, some have even stated that they'd like to relocate back here. Uh, I'd like to you know develop that um, avenue a lot a lot more uh, uh, you know be more impactful with that. Uh, in terms of local government, you know, there's a lot of challenges that we're going to face, of course, with the, the COVID now that we didn't expect at first. So there's going to be a lot more focus on business retention than expansion because at the moment we don't know who's healthy and who's not. And, um, you know, it's going to take a, a large effort on the government's part to assist in any way that we can. Of course, there's limited resources at the local government that we have to work with, but to try to do anything that we can to, to save the local economy currently and then, you know, move forward when the time is right with everyone healthy and strong uh, in their business so that we can retain jobs and then look to expand the economy. Um, I have a solid plan uh, for developing these partnerships uh, with business organizations. I work well with community organizations and outreach. Uh, I have extensive um, 
event management experience, um, you know, which helps develop partnerships in Butte, uh, played a key role in, in developing festivals here in the community with a bunch of other folks, but, you know, I've done my part, and um, I think that I've gained a, a great deal of experience and have a real solid grasp of reality with local government and how the chief executive operates within that form. Um, you know, I know what a chief executive can do in the position and I know what a chief executive cannot do in the position. Um, you know, there are certain parameters that you need to work with, so um, i like to get in there and, and work with the folks of, of this community. A big challenge moving forward to move the economy forward is the environmental cleanup and the consent decree is probably the biggest issue that's come in front of the council since I've been on. Right. And you know, they're calling it the the biggest decision made in the history of Butte. I'm not necessarily sure that that's the case. I hope it's not the most important decision we have to make. I hope there are other decisions that are just as important to move the economy forward. Right. But it's been 30 years in the making, and it's been a long time overdue, in my opinion. And I think that we're to the point now where we can flush out the remaining details. But the consent decree and you know the other moving pieces of environmental cleanup not only will move Butte forward with job growth because it's going to employ a lot of people um, directly with the cleanup, but you know it lifts that stigma of us being a super fun side and we're going to see a lot of amenities and improvements if we're successful in in moving the decree forward so um and there are other interests you know there are other civic groups that are interested in um, restoring a creek and um, other elements to play into the consent decree and even outside of the consent decree but you know after 30 years of you know my entire life we've been waiting for uh, cleanup you know, and I think the people in Butte deserve it and that they're ready for it. And I think that's probably the the biggest hurdle that we have at the moment is to get work started and, you know, come to an agreement so that, uh, you know, these blighted areas that have been there for a long time are not only reclamated and remediated, but, you know, restored to a, a good use for the public moving forward. You know, I think it will greatly enhance our image moving forward. But I think that the negotiating parties and a lot of the civic groups in Butte that have had input over the years have really shaped the document that's in front of us. Right. So, um, I'm pleased as a commissioner. I think that the, the next chief executive, you know, I'd like to be working with the parties um, at, the car, at the courthouse and our partners in the cleanup and, you know, just start improving um, the corridor because there's still mine waste and tailings that are going to be needed to be removed and uh, you know a lot of environmental concerns but after the you know the reclamation of that and the remediation then there are amenities that are included in the plan so that'll beautify the area for sure you know i have a, a plan that to work with right local agencies and uh you know people at the courthouse there's an economic plan that uh, is developed but you know a lot of it's going to rely on the fact that we can start moving forward and it has to do with some outside investments. We don't know where the market's at currently because of the pandemic. We don't know if some of these projects that have already proceeded are going to be able to proceed at the pace in which they expected. Right. And we have new, there's discussion of new projects that, that we're aware of that may or may not come to fruition because I don't think that they foresaw the pandemic as anyone did. Right, um, right. So we don't know if, what their financial outlook is. So it's um, it's challenging at the moment. Even the new movie company, you know, they, they kind of knocked them out for a few weeks or months. You know? Yeah, we've had we've had investment in the community that if it weren't for the pandemic, they'd be a lot further along in their projects. Right. And there's more projects that are being looked at uh, for Butte that we're aware of, but. I, I have a, a solid plan to develop those um, avenues of, of bringing folks into the community and it has to do a lot with, of course, Butte's always open for business and we would, you know, accept and welcome anybody, but, you know, you see the primary investment in our community is natives of Butte that have come back and, you know, they've done well elsewhere, 
and have come back and invested back in their community because they have a love and affection for the community and they like the lifestyle and um, you know our largest companies on a growth tra trajectory are started by Butte people so um, I think that there's a real avenue and I've reached out to those folks a lot of them that you know, have had great conversations that said that they would love to develop the plan further um, you know so that's that's my economic um, plan in the, the near and the in the long term future is to build these relationships further because these people are interested. They're not um, speculating on be it. They're interested in projects. Right. We have a very good cost of living. We have exceptional recreational opportunities yeah, in the area. Um, we have all sorts of advantages in Butte, and you know we realize it here as the local resident, but. We have a tougher time selling it to the outside world, but I think that we have a lot of opportunity here in Butte to, to grow and move forward and, and do it effectively and correctly.